in the first half, you know, we felt like offensively we were we were moving the ball well. Obviously, stopped ourselves with a couple of turnovers. Uh, you know, we missed the missed the short field goal. Didn't execute very good in the red zone in the first half, but we we were encouraged uh, coming in. Um, you know, about the, we felt like we were close offensively, and then obviously we we're playing so well defensively. Uh, you guys just played passionate. You know, they, they, Mike and the guys had a, a great plan. Our guys have started executed really well. Um, our guys gutted it out. It was a great, great environment. Um, tough place to win, obviously, and, and to come and get this done was a lot of fun. And uh, you know, hopefully, we'll, we'll still continue to find a lot of things to build on. I told them in there, this, this, uh, you know, we'd, we'll be disappointed if this is the highlight of our season. You know, we still got a long ways to go. We've only played two games. We got a long ways to go. And, uh, but obviously a great win and, and one that's very special. To us. Oklahoma head coach Lincoln Riley, the youngest coach in the country, after the Sooners' big win in Columbus. And Rico, what does it mean that, what does it say about OU and OSU that the Sooners able to go into Ohio Stadium, dominate the game, Crush the Buckeyes and then plant that giant flag in the middle of the field. Uh, Jackie says that payback is a woman of ill repute and high heels and mini skirts. That's what that says. It <laughs> says that, you know what, Ohio State went to Norman, did something very similar, said they had a basic defense. Right. They stomped on their 50-yard line. Oklahoma pulled away. The game was really close at halftime, but yep. then all of a sudden Baker Mayfield, things just start clicking for him. It tells me that I bought into Ohio State going to be this dominant team with Kevin Wilson running the, the uh, show. Right. I'm beginning to think now maybe JT Barrett has peaked and is now starting to regress. And kind of like we talked about Michigan in the last segment, maybe it's time for Ohio State and Urban Meyer to start looking towards the future. I don't know if JT Barrett can get them there or not. His throws are just late. I mean, he yeah. looks like a guy playing in his first game, not in his fifth year.